what is up subscribers of retro mushroom 64 evil man xd here bringing you guys a wi-fi match that tyler had against a guy by the name of edgar now this is an nu match and let's take a quick look at team preview tyler's bringing in some pretty big threats and some pretty awesome pokes he's bringing in grumpig he's got that choice banded relicant and he's got rotom fan he's got freaking goler tyler's got a lot of big threats whereas uh edgar on the other hand has some pretty cool threats of his own. He's got that Beheim, he's got that Choice Scarp Sock, and he's got that Pursuit Trapping uh, Skunk Tank. So, you know, it's going to be a pretty good match. So leading off for Edgar is going to be that Fancy, that Buggin' a Rock, that Dwebble. Whereas Tyler's going to go ahead and lead off with Porkchop. Now Tyler's going to go ahead and go straight for the Taunt, predicting him to go for Stealth Rocks. And he's going to catch him right off guard, and he's going to go like, Gotcha, motherfucker! He's going to go ahead and switch right out into Golurk, knowing that Dwebble can't really do anything to him. Dwebble's going to go ahead and go for knockoff, which is probably the best option for him at that point, but all Tyler has is leftover, so it's not a big deal. Edgar's going to go ahead and switch out into Bongo Bongo, that freaking Haunter predicting the fighting or ground move, but Tyler's going to out-predict him, go straight for the Shadow Punch, and knock out Haunter without any trouble whatsoever. Really unfortunate for Edgar, really good for Tyler, however you want to look at it. So now that he's not taunted, he's going to go send his Dwebble back in just to set up some Stealth Rocks because there's nothing Tyler can do about it. But Tyler is going to go ahead and switch into Grumpig to scare him out with the taunt. However, do you think Tyler's going to go for the taunt? <laughs> no, he's got his prediction panties on. He's going to go for that Thunder Wave and he's going to paralyze his opponent's Skunk Tank. Now uh, here's where some mind games are going to get caught in. Tyler pretty much knows he's going to be Pursuit Trapped, so he's going to stay in and go for the Focus Blast. Whereas his opponent is going to go for the pursuit, expecting him to switch out. Now this creates even more mind games because Skunk Tank actually has access to Sucker Punch. So now that Ty now that he's pretty sure Tyler's going to stay in and not want to get killed by pursuit, now that he's seen it, he's going to go for the Sucker Punch. But Tyler's going to see right through that, switch out into his Candy Pop, and this Sucker Punch isn't going to do nothing. And Tyler's ugh, Grump Pig is going to leave, basically unharmed. Well, he got hit, but not nearly as bad as it could have. So Tyler's going to go ahead and go for a Sludge Bomb. I'm thinking this is his only attacking move, or his best option to hit uh, Skunk Tank with anyways. But Skunk Tank's going to surprise the hell out of Tyler, go for that Fire Blast, and take him down to 88 HP. Like, that is a big damage. That hit, like, ugh, destruction. So bad. Tyler's going to go ahead and recover most of it up, though. Go for that Moonlight. Get just about... Three quarters of his health back, you know, looking pretty strong. Whereas his opponent's also going to misplay again and go for a pursuit. He's just having a bad day with that pursuit trapping. It does a good amount of damage, but he could have killed him off if he would have just, you know, been smart about it. You know, could have got a zigzagoon on. Tyler's just going to finish him off with Sludge Bomb, though. Tisk tisk there, Edgar. Tisk tisk. So Vileplume's going to go ahead, get some recovery, and Edgar's going to go ahead and send in his Bambi. Now, this Bambi is going to do a massive amount of damage when he goes for this double edge right to Vileplume's face. And it's going to take Vileplume down to about 54. Now, the fact that Tyler gets Effect Spore here really doesn't matter, but it's kind of like a slap to the face. Like, hey, even if I don't kill you, I'm going to kill you next turn, buddy. So, you know, have fun dying. Sludge Bomb is super effective and stab, so Vileplume's easily going to knock out that sauce bucket. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Tyler's going to get some more recovery. And his opponent's going to send out Sock. I don't understand why it's nicknamed Cheese, but we'll just roll with it. Cheese is going to go ahead and go for that Ice Punch. Knock out Candy Pop in one hit, because let's be honest, let's be honest right now, he didn't have much health left. So Tyler's going to go ahead and send out his big threat. That Choice Banded Relicant. Oh, do you see how he stuck his tongue out a little? He's like, meh. <laughs> and now Tyler's just going to go ahead and let loose with the Waterfalls. Now, even with Eviolite, Dwebble is not going to be able to stand Stab, Choice Band, Super Effective, Waterfall. It's just, it's not a thing. He can't make it a thing. He's going to get his Custat Berry, and he's going to go for that Spikes. Custat Berry, a little bit of a weird option on Dwebble, but, you know, whatever. Tyler's just going to go ahead and finish him off with another Waterfall, and he's going to feel all so great about it. Now, right here, his opponent's going to bring in Cheese, and Tyler doesn't want to get hit by CC, so of course he's going to switch out. Unfortunately, he didn't pick the best switch out option. Tyler's going to go ahead and go into his Rotom, and he could have just gone into Golurk predicting the close combat, but I think he didn't want to get hit by Ice Punch either way. I mean, Ice Punch would have hit anything hard, but I don't know. 
prediction panties make you do stupid things sometimes, and he's going to go ahead and lose his Rotom Fan. Not a big deal. It does confirm that Sock is Choice Scarf, though, so that's good news. He got that out of it. So Pinwheel's going to die, and Tao's going to do what he should have done and go out into Golurk. Now, Golurk's easily going to be able to just mess up this Sock because Close Combat can't do anything, and if he switches out, his Beeheim's going to get hit really hard by the Shadow Punch, too. So Tyler can just stay in and just go for Shadow Punch two times and knock the motherfucker out. <sighs> Kangas Gang, you got nothing on it. So Tyler is going to kill that, and now comes out Deoxys. Even though it's really not Deoxys, but you know, those tricks, the, that NU Deoxys, what you know about it. Tyler's going to go ahead and outspeed Beheim and go straight for the Shadow Punch, while he's going to go ahead and set up the Trick Room. So right here, Tyler's got a dead Golurk. Beheim is way too strong. Just destruction. Bye bye, Golurk. I'm sorry. I really liked you, bro. You were right here. We were close. So Golurk's out, and now noticing that he has Life Orb, Tyler can literally send out anything on his team to take one Psychic, and Beheim will kill himself off. And Tyler decides that Otis, the mill tank, don't know why it's named Otis, is going to be the one to take that hit. So that's going to be GG, and Tyler will be the victor of the day for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed my narration, please, please, please check out my channel, youtube.com slash evilmanxd. My channel is extremely dead at the moment, and I could really use some subs who actually want to watch my videos. I got a bunch of cool stuff, like a Pokemon Toxic Purple Let's Play, even though it wasn't very long. I got Chips.mp4, you know, the greatest video of all time that started it all. And I got Wi-Fi Battles. Pff, I, I got it all. So like I said, guys, check me out, youtube.com slash evilmanxd, link in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!